Hello and welcome back. We're going to be building the mystical construct today, which will suck in all the aura nodes from around the world uh, into my spaceship. It's going to be pretty cool. We've got to work out how to move it though with the frames. It's not going to go on top because that is where the solar panels are. So it's going to have to go to one of the sides, I think. And that's a bit of a bum. But it's going to have to. So I'm going to put it like... Um, also, it's going to be slightly off-center, which is going to be frustrating. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to look terrible, because it has to have one gap, I think. Uh, yeah. It's going to have a 3x3 three three square, and there's four here. Oh, dear. But then it does need some other bits and pieces. Um, can we build it inside? Is that going to work? Maybe. Is there a room in there? Let me in. God damn it, this glass is strong. Ugh. Ugh. Break. Uh, must be a faster way of doing it. Oh! Oh dear. Pfft. That was set to explosive, apparently. Um, which is fine. Just fucked up my entire spaceship. No problem. Um... <laughs> God damn it! Oh man, what a disaster. <laughs> Just one right click. I didn't even break the bloody glass, that's the, that's the kicker. The glass was fine. <laughs> right, so how did this go before? It was, um, a lot of the frames had fallen off. So this should go like that. Uh, did this blow up as well? What the hell? God, good thing the core didn't get touched. That would have been a nightmare. Um, I'm surprised all this stuff blew up. Crazy. Okay, well we've sorted that out. Let's just cover it in covers, as it was before. Oops, I put two down. Shit. Okay. Whew. Alright, so I'm still breaking it with my claw, and I've I got to spend 10 minutes fixing this bloody thing, so that was um, fairly annoying, but we're okay, we're good. Um, now I wanted to build it inside here, didn't I? Now what's in this chest? Nothing, so I can pick this chest up. Now is there room? Um, I think there must be room for the totems. That's how it's going to go. And then we have something here, because you, when you build this, if you put anything in this um, this 3x3 cube, then it will stop the thing from working. So in order to attach these totems and the, um, especially the crystal core, in order, to, in order to attach the crystal core to the spaceship, um, we're gonna have to have frames which go, which move next to it and then leave essentially because when it moves the frame has to be touching but when we want the crystal core to work the frame has to um, be be gone <laughs> so we're gonna have to use maybe deployers or, or pistons or something like that um, in order to get this to work uh, which could be a pain in the ass but it might be right we'll see so let's just first just build it. So we need to get these tokens to attach. Fine. Um, these ones need to attach, which is fine as well. Now, this one isn't attached, and there is this one. So we're gonna have to attach those. Um, we can do that maybe from the ceiling. No, maybe not. Maybe from this wall, we can do that. With a frame, like this. So now that's attached. This one can be the same. Okay. Now the problem we come to now is that this has to go in the middle. Um, I guess we can do that this way. Like that. I hope that's right. 
Uh, no, I think it has to be one one above actually. Crap. <laughs> so we've already buggered it up. But we can move that with uh, frames and motors. Okay, so we have got some stuff that we might need to do this. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what this is and how we're going to do it, but we're going to desperately try. Now to move this up, we're going to have to take away two of these totems. This is actually going to be a pain. Um, we should have thought about it before placing it down recklessly, but we we didn't. So anyway, motor has to go there. We used the screwdriver to get in the right position. Is that right? Yes. And then we need to plug it in to the mains. Oh no, not that. This. Okay. And that should get power. Yes. So now we can toggle this on and it should, um, in theory, move the crystal up. Yay! <laughs> right, well that's done. So we've got the crystal in the place it should have always been. Um, which I guess is a good start. <laughs> okay, so now what we need what we need to happen is this needs to be intact. Like this three by three block can't change, um, but we need to touch this to a frame. So what we're going to need to do is um, I think maybe deploy a frame next to it. Is that going to work? <laughs> Let's try. Deployer frames lever. Um, is that going to fit on anything? Yes. But where's the breaker going to go? Above it? Holy crap, this is complicated. Above it should work. Maybe. We'll try the block breaker above it, um, which has to be there. Now I think this should work. I mean, it might need another block above it as well. I'm not sure. Let's just have a quick look at the schematic. Um, it's very hard to tell from here. It looks like it's three high. Um, it is very hard to tell. <laughs> Maybe this will work. So what we should do is have a pipe as well um, coming back. Let's just make some room. Okay, so obviously this needs a frame as well. Oh, but we can use pipes, frames. I think there's a, a frame uh, with a tube in it. Redstone tube frame. Here we go. So we need a redstone tube. Which is easy, let's just go and get one. Waypoints, castle. Um, pneumatic tube, redstone tube. Ah, oh, we haven't got a waypoint out there. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this could work. I'm quite excited. I'm also slightly nervous that it's not going to work. So, let's have a look. If we get the frames, combine them with the tubes, we've got something called redstone tube frames, like that. And now we can put them um, here, here, and here. Is that going to work? Maybe not quite there. Maybe let's go back one. Now. Yeah, put a lever on that one, a lever on that one. We have to do this with wireless at some point later. This is going to be a very slow process. I, I'm not going to not going to lie. What we're going to do is move the ship 24 blocks, and then you have to 
stop the ship, come out, turn this on, wait for the node to be sucked into it, and then deploy the, that, move the ship again 24 blocks. Now this isn't going to work either because this is actually um, a frame on its own. So we're going to need another deployer and another block breaker next to this, look, this here where I'm standing. In fact, because we need to have this attached to the actual ship. Um, might even be better doing it this side. Oh my god. Okay, let's break the frame next to this guy. Right, so this should be a panel. There you go. And stick that on the panel. Flip it around. That will activate that one. And we need the same frequency this side. Okay, so this frequency is going to be four, six, eight, three set. And it's going to be called deploy. Oops. Deploy frame. Okay. And the same for this one. Deploy frame. So now when I use that, it should deploy frames both ways. Let's just put some frames in there. It should be one. One should be enough. Um, but just in case, there's lots. Okay, so now we need to have the same here, but for a different frequency to break them. So we need panels. Uh, oh, I need more. I need more receivers, don't I? I need four, not two. Silly me. Uh, two more. Thank you. Okay, so this can go on the roof. Now, is this a panel? I was not sure. There we go. It is now, for sure. That can face that way. And same this side. Panel. Receiver that way. Okay, so now this is going to be uh, plus one. I'm going to call it break frame. Okay. And the same here. Break frame. Good. Now, we need another frame to connect this. It's a bit of a mess in here now, but it should be fine. There we go. Okay, so we've got the system pretty much set up. Now, I want to test it, obviously. Can't test it properly until I've got the wand, but I can test at least the functionality of the frame system. So let's have a look at the remote. And we'll set this to um, build, or what is it called? Deploy, deploy frame, go. So they both deployed. Now this should, in theory, now move the crystal when we move the ship. So let's just try moving the ship. Now, there may be problems out here I haven't foreseen. Let's just, ouch. Just put down enough frames to fix that. Um, there we go. Now it should move now, even though it's slightly broken. So let's set this to backwards. Yeah, so it moves, and so does the crystal. The crystal moves with it. Now that's good. So now I need to test the brake, brake frame. So when I want to actually use this crystal, the brake frame, bam. There we go, broken. And they should go back into the deployers as well. Now this then should work. Hopefully. <laughs> now we can't test that yet, but let's just test the pipes are working. So we'll put one frame in each deployer. We will deploy oops, deploy frames. Bam. We will then break frames. Bam. And now they should be in here again. But they're not. 
Oh, yes, they are. It just took a little while. That's fine. Okay, so that, that works perfectly. So we'll, we'll put a few in there just in case we need to do it quickly. I doubt we will, but just in case. Why not? Why not? Okay, so it works. Now all we have to do is, is get another uh, nether star to build our new wand. And then we can actually use this thing, um, which is amazing. So I'm going to get one of them and I'm going to fix the ship <laughs> um, for next time. But until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.